When it comes to entertainment on the ATP World Tour, Gasquet is your man. You have a lot of pressure, especially in the tiebreak. Every, everything can, can happen. Especially on this court, it's really, really quick. My best strokes, my, my backhand. When I play with it, uh, I think I can play very good, so that's my best stroke. So when I play with the backhand, I have no problem, no problem. Even with the pressure, I think I can play, and that's, that's important for me. Ah, it's important to serve well and, and to return. And uh, now after, I will try to, to win some matches for the confidence. With a career high ranking of seven, Gasquet has been one of the players most likely to break through to the very top. In France, he's a national treasure. A child prodigy, he appeared on the front cover of a French tennis magazine when he was aged only nine. I don't know if I am popular, but uh, we are in France. I played a lot this tournament, so I always played well here in Monte Carlo. So you know, I love this tournament. So when I were, were a child, I came to, to watch it when I was nine, ten years old. So no, I really like to, to play there. And uh, yes, there are a lot of people, and that's really nice. That's one of the most beautiful tournaments in the year. After making the semi-finals in Rome, Gasquet made an impact at Roland Garros, reaching the second week for the first time. It's the tournament I prefer in the world because I play with my, with my friends, with my family, with the French crowd. And after that success in Paris, Gasquet was keen to build on this elsewhere in his homeland. In Metz, he went in search of his third ATP World Tour singles title on French soil after previous victories in Lyon and Nice. He clearly is at his best in front of his adoring fans. Richard Gasquet is um, so beautiful when he plays, so beautiful. I have the regret, I think it, it, could, um, it could be even better because he is so talented, you know, and it's such a pleasure to, to see him playing uh, at, at his best. A very talented player, very inspiring, I think, for, for children who, wants to, who want to play tennis. Yeah, talented. You know, in the official uh, program, we just put a, a picture of Gasquet when he was nine years old. Look at his uh, technique and his backhand. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. Even even the best player in the world would like to, to have a backhand like that when, when you're nine years old. It just, uh, uh, I think one of the most talented players ever in France and other countries with McEnroe or Rios, this kind of, ta of talent. Only 25 and a winner of six ATP World Tour singles titles, he has the game to go all the way. Richard Gasquet can win any tournament uh, he wants. He's so talented, he's got all the weapons you need. And what's uh, the most impressive thing about him is that he's not very tall, he's not very big, but still, uh, talent can do so much in tennis. Away from tennis, Gasquet keeps busy. He spends time working on the Richard Gasquet Foundation and working with young people keeps him grounded. My turn. Uh, no, we'll just show you our warm up. Three. Ah, oh, yeah. So normally we warm ah, up okay. before breakfast like this, but huh. today, as your guest, it's, huh. you can relax. Very good. Okay, so the, the balls are coming down to you. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Yep. It's been a mixed season for the Frenchman, but he is still in contention for the ATP World Tour Finals. Can he make it? Maybe I can. I have to play well on this tournament. You know, it's what I, if I'm playing well, I'm doing a, a big, a big tournament. Maybe I can, uh, I can try to go to London. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the next big thing. Coach Jack Reader gives us the inside track on 22-year-old Ukrainian Alexander Dolgopolov. And we'll have all the action and drama from the PTT Thailand Open and Malaysian Open Kuala Lumpur 2011 as the Asian swing gets underway. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and find us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next week.